Hey, how's it going? Chris Brisson here over at Sales Message. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate a text message uh, when you get a missed call on air call. So somebody calls your air call number, you don't pick it up or they hang up. That is quote unquote a missed call. You want to automate a text message from the number they called and engage with them over text. So I'll show, let me show you how to do it. Super simple. Uh, first thing you need to do is one, you need to make sure that you have a sales message account, an air call account, and Zapier. Um, Zapier is what we're gonna use to automate this, right? And so when you have your sales message account, you need to integrate into air call. So you just go to integrations, um, click over here and integrate with air call, and then just go to your settings and refresh your number and then boom. Once you connect your number here, then you can essentially text with this air call number on top of sales message. So we're gonna test with this one. Okay, so now let's head over to Zapier. So the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna create a new Zap and we wanna create a trigger, which is a webhook. So once you choose webhook, you're gonna choose catch hook, uh, click continue. It's gonna ask you to pick off a child's key. I wouldn't worry about this. Just click continue and right here, now I've already tested this, so um, you're gonna see, you're not gonna see this payload, but what you're gonna see is this URL. So what we wanna do is we want to copy this and from AirCall, we want to create a webhook. So if you go to integrations, discover integrations, and then scroll all the way down, you're gonna see one called webhook. So click on that click install integration and let's just give this a title. I'm just gonna call it missed call test. It's gonna ask you for this URL. So go ahead and paste this in. And the only event that we need is this call ended. So I'm just gonna turn off all of these other ones. Okay, so now that we've turned off all of these ones, got our name, got our webhook URL for Zapier. The only one we have on is call ended. Let's choose add webhook. Okay, cool. So we are good there. Now what we need to do is we need to call air call. Uh, we need to call that phone number, right? Which is this one here, this 518. So I'm going to call this number. Make sure you have your air call account turned on or your app. So I'm going to call it and we should see air call pop up. Awesome. There it is. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to hang up. Okay. All right. So now AirCall has sent the webhook. It's going to catch it over here on Zapier. And then what we're going to see is we're going to see this sort of payload come through. So because I've been testing this one a lot, um, you'll go down here. You'll see uh, this one says missed call reason null, which means somebody picked it up. Um, I've got another one here that I've been testing, missed call reason, short abandoned. So what this tells me, and according to AirCall, they're saying, you know, when this missed call reason has some sort of information in here, in this example, short abandoned, um, everything except null, that means that the call was missed. So we're just, once you get this information coming in, in fact, if I just go here and load more, um, maybe it'll pull up and there it is, right? So here's the new data, agents did not answer, okay? So AKA a missed call. So next what we want to do is we want to filter, okay? We're gonna filter this because we want to filter out if the missed call information exists. So uh, data missed call reason, we're gonna click on that. And it's gonna give us a whole bunch of drop down. What we wanna do is just select exists. So what this means is when the missed call data field, right, or property has something in it um, and it exists, like it has data, that means that we wanna continue. If it comes back as null, that means that somebody actually answered the phone, right, according to air call. So we're gonna click continue and this one should continue, why, because the data comes back showing that um, somebody picked it up. All right, so we'll click continue. And the next one we wanna do here is we wanna uh, format the phone number 
because the way that air call sends over the phone number is a little bit weird. So we want to choose formatter. We're going to choose numbers. We're going to click continue and we're going to select phone number. Okay. Format phone number. The input, we're just going to go ahead and search down here. I believe it's called like number or something like that. Let's take a look. So here it is, right? This 518. Right, if you remember, this is the air call number, this 518 number. So that's the number we want to format. Choose the format here, this E164. Uh, just choose continue, test the action, and it's going to format the number. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we don't want to publish it yet. We actually want to add one more, which is sales message, which will send the text. So I'm gonna choose sales message and we want to send a text message. Okay, click continue. We're gonna choose the account, continue. And now it's gonna say, well, where do you wanna send the message as coming from, right? So now we can choose a number, right? If you wanna just make sure that every outgoing text comes from one specific phone number, you can select a number. Or if you want the number to come from the same number that um, the person called into, you're gonna wanna select over here, because we set up this formatter, um, you are going to want to select this output, right? So again, somebody called your 518 number, we wanna send the text from that same 518 number uh, as long as it's integrated into sales message. If it's not, then it's not gonna send the text um, because Aircall doesn't provide texting. So phone number, we can choose here. And let's just put number and we'll see what number came in, okay? So here's the number, this phone number value. Um, hey there, thanks for calling, okay? And that's it, now again, I can add um, a media, so if I want to add an image, um, you know, if you're capturing first name, last name, that information, if you want to apply a tag, right, we can do that. So I'm just going to do this test one. And I'm going to click continue. I'm going to skip this because we're going to test it in real time. So publish it. There we go. So now, because it's live, I am going to send this text message. And we're gonna call in. Air call is gonna pop up. I'm gonna close this out. And if we give it a quick minute, we should actually see this come through. And we should see these text messages come through. All right, so if we check the zap, this is the one it's actually playing right now. And if I just refresh it, it looks like this is uh, complete. So this is the whole zap, All right? So somebody called in, um, it was missed, the number was formatted, and then there you go, this was the text. So let's just take a look at sales message. And there it is, right? So hey there, thanks for calling. Um, and that outbounded that text message. So that's it. That's how you would set that up. Um, again, you'll need sales message accounts. You'll need to integrate AirCall into your sales message account. And then you'll use webhooks uh, inside of Zapier to automate that text. So there you go. That's how you do it.